Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel blog project tutorial for beginner to advance. So in this tutorial, what we are going to do is that we will let the user see his own post. It means we will have the option over here like my bio or my post and if the user click on that my post button then it will take the user to another page where they will be able to see their post and they will also be able to update or delete their post. So here if we go down here you can see there is a lot of post over here. Here you can see post by admin and here you can see post by user 2 and here you can see post by user so whenever the user click on that button it will only show that user his specific posts so for it first of all let's go and create a button over here like my post so we'll have a button over here called my post so for it let's go back to our code and we'll go to the header section first so let's go back to our code then we'll go to resource views then home and inside home we have header.blade.php we'll just directly go down and here you can see we have the auth condition over here so inside this auth condition we are going to have a list so let me just copy this list Control c and after this except layout we are going to write this list which is block and over here we are going to say let's say my post so right now let's save this and right now if we refresh here here you can see we have one more option called my post so let's go and create a route for this my post so let's go back and here in this href we are going to give two second bracket then we'll say here url to first bracket to single quotation then we are going to say here my underscore post so let's save this and let's go to our web.php and create a url or route so let's save this first then let's go to our routes then views and let's just right click go down and let me just copy this route control c then control v the route will be get not post we'll say here get we'll use the home controller and here the route name is uh, my post so let me just copy this and i'll say over here my post and the function name over here will be my post as well and we'll use this middleer auth so that it will check that if the user is logged in or not whenever we are going to this page okay so let's save this and after this we'll go to our home controller and create a function my post so let's go to app HTTP controller and home controller. So let's just directly go down and here we are going to say public function my post to first bracket then to second bracket. From here we'll just return a view. Return view to first bracket to single quotation. Let's say the view name will be home dot my underscore post. Let's save this. So right now we'll create a blade file called my underscore post in the home folder. So let's go to our home folder. Here you can see. So I'll just right click, then click new file, and let's say over here my underscore post dot blade dot php. So control S and save. So here let's just send normal things over here. Let's say over here H on uh, my post page. Let's save this. So right now let's just refresh here then if we click on this my post button here you can see it took us to this space my post page so just like before we'll take the header and the footer design in the my post page okay so for it let's go back to our code and here from here we'll go to homepage.blade.php we'll copy everything from here and we'll paste everything over here and i'll remove the everything except the footer section okay and we'll also remove the banner section from here as well so right now if we save this then if we now refresh here here you can see we have the header section and the footer section so over here between the header section and the footer section will show the user post and we'll not show it using table we'll just show it every post uh, on by on just like you see in a Facebook okay so uh, let's go back to our code and over here you can see in the body tag uh, after the home dot header section we'll mention a div over here then inside this div we'll have a image then we'll have the post title let's say post title and here we it will be post title after this we'll have the post description let's say here 
post description so right now if we save this obviously there is no image so right now if you now refresh here it will look like this here you can see post title post description but there is no image because we did not give any source image over here so right now let's go and first make a design for this so here inside this div we are going to say class let's say post underscore dg let's save this and let's go inside the header section let's say our here style and inside this style we are going to say dot post underscore deg to second bracket and we are first going to say our here padding it will be 30 px then we'll say here text align it will be center so right now if we save this then if we now just refresh here here you can see post title and post description is inside the center the image is missing obviously because there is no image so right now let's change the text color and the text font size so for it what we'll do is that we'll write some css for this h4 tag so here we are going to say class title underscore deg and here we are going to say class uh, let's say it will be description underscore deg okay so let's get the top and inside the style we'll say over here first title underscore deg first we are going to say over here font size it will be 30 px then font weight it will be bold after that we are going to say padding let's say padding will be 15 px so let's also just do the same for the post as well post description so let me just copy this and paste it over here we are going to show here des design which is basically this one and here the font size will be 18 px text will be bold and padding will be 15 px that's fine so let's save this let's refresh so here you can see post title and post description okay let's change the text color so here the title text color will be white and here color will be let's say a different things let's say wheat white smoke let's say save this then refresh here so there you can see that's fine so for the image tag okay we'll write the image style later once we just show the image so here what we'll do is that first of all let's go and get the data from the post table for the specific user so for it uh, here you can see my post dot php this view is coming from here so here first of all uh, we'll get the logged in user id and in order to get the logged in user id we can just say over here dollar user equal to auth we can give two first bracket or two double clone then we will say over here user after this what we'll do is that we can say over here dollar user id equal to we'll mention mention this variable dollar user then this arrow sign and id so like this we'll be able to get the logged in user id in this dollar user id variable so after this we are going to write a condition a higher condition so let's just declare a variable let's say our here dollar post or let's just say our here dollar data equal to here we need to mention the table model name so which is post we'll give to double clone and then we'll say here where to first bracket then to single quotation and here inside this to single quotation we are going to mention uh, the table this column name here you can see we stored the user id over here here you can see user underscore id here you can see three two one basically those are the user id if you go to the user table here you can see the user id one two and three so in the post table this post is done by user whose id is 3 uh, this post is done by whose user id is 2 so what we will do is that we will check the logged in user id over here so first of all we need to mention uh, this user underscore id over here so we will say here user underscore id will give a comma then two single quotation then equal sign and then we will give another comma and then we will write this user id control c and control v after this we will just keep this arrow sign and we saw our here get so basically what we are doing is that first of all we are getting the logged in user id and storing it over here and then we are checking if this logged in user id matches with the post table 
logged in user id if the id matches then we will get that data and store this in this dollar data variable so here we will just show our here comma compact then here we will mention this data variable let me just copy this and paste it over here so right now let's go to our my post dot blade dot php this page which is this one and here before this tip we are going to mention a for each loop so we'll say over here at the rate of for each we'll say over here dollar data as dollar data then we'll in this for each loop after this tip so here we are going to say at the rate of int for each so here first of all uh, here in this post title we are going to mention two second bracket and then we'll say over here dollar data this arrow sign title and after this here we are going to say again dollar data this arrow sign description so right now if we set this and right now here for user the id is one here you can see name is user and id is on and this id only has on post in the post table here you can see this is a user post this is a description added by user so right now if we now refresh over here here you can see this is a user post and this is a description added by user we are only seeing only on post not other people's post okay so right now let's go and get the image as well so here in the source first of all we uh, store all the image in the public uh, post image folder so here we are going to mention the post image folder name then we'll give slash to second bracket then we we'll say here dollar data this arrow sign image so let's save this then let's just refresh here and there you can see the image over here which is too big so let's just say over here we can mention a class over here just let's just say our class img underscore dg save this let's go inside the style tag let's say over here img underscore deg to second bracket let's mention the image height it will be 200 px and width it will be 300 px let's also mention a padding padding will be 30 px let's save this so right now if we refresh here so here you can see the image is smaller right now so let's have the image in the center so here we'll just say here margin for the image will be auto inside this image underscore design class so let's refresh and there you can see the image is in the center now let's try to log in to different user and let's see we can see multiple post of that user here you can see for user 2 uh, there is two post so let me just log out from here and let's log in again let's say our here user 2 at the rate of gmail.com let's give the password let's click login and there you can see we are currently logged in as a user 2 so right now if you go to my post here you can see we can see the two post over here so there is two post but there is some design issue over here so what you can do is that uh, we can just change the background color to black so i think that will still look good so let's just go back and over here you can see that you can see we have a div class and inside this div we have all the emails title and description so for this div class post underscore deg so over here we are going to say background color it will be black save this then let's just refresh here and there you can see i think it looks good not too bad so yeah this is all about this tutorial in the next tutorial we'll have a delete option over here so that the user can delete their post if they want so thank you very much for watching if you have any question you can let me know in the comment section and if you want more tutorial like this then make sure to subscribe i will also really appreciate that as well thanks in for watching i'll see you in the future tutorial